Uh, Tim, I, I, the, 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 oh, yeah. Mike is way down here. Oh, that's good. Sure. If he comes sit where I Come sit next to you. She can sit yeah, next to you. There's a right space here. right next to you. Tim, I think Tim's on the phone. Oh, is he? he he's supposed to be landing about, right about. Oh, because he logged into this. Probably landed about a half hour ago or something like that. Um, hi, Nina. Hello. <laughs> hi, hi, hello. Um, so I'm Jai Yang, uh, should I be thinking? Uh, from UC Davis. Um, I'm in the design department and uh, Tim Hyde, who um, does laser with me at UC Davis, he's from the art department. And uh, so we've been doing this, uh, this is our second year. Um, UC Davis is on a quarter system, uh, so 10 weeks a quarter. Uh, last year we did um, one laser per quarter, so we did three of them. Uh, summer we kind of all go away and disappear. <laughs> yes, so we have our um, fourth one coming up this November, uh, November 16th on a Thursday. And the format that, that we have been using is uh, usually three speakers. So we will, um, and they'll have 15 minutes each. Um, and uh, it, it's a combination of uh, an artist or a designer or a scientist or, um, you know, someone from the humanities. So it's just, it's very interdisciplinary and it's non-themed. Uh, we've, we've kind of considered themed and non-themed non and I think uh, both are very interesting, but on a practical front for both Tim and I, um, in order to curate a theme and making sure people are able to come uh, with a limited budget is challenging. Um, so we've gone with a sort of uh, um, uh, non-themed, but always making sure to have this interdisciplinary conversation. So 15 minutes each speaker and um, um, and then followed by an extensive conversation of about an hour or so, 45 minutes to an hour, and then uh, followed by community sharing. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that's kind of the format that we've uh, uh, been using. And then we always have a videographer um, who will film and uh, edit um, the, whole, the whole thing. Um, and, and at Davis, do you find that you have to have people from the Davis community? Because traveling to Davis from other places can be tricky. Or how do you manage speakers? Like, who are your speakers? Yeah, so speakers, so we usually have two folks from the campus and one guest. Uh, at this point, it has been, you know, um, um, from uh, either Los Angeles or the Bay Area. Um, so California so far. Yeah. But there are lots of folks that were interested in uh, other regions. Um, but uh, yeah, we're, we're, I think a part of it because it's only 15 minutes, it feels like if we were to fly somebody from New York, yeah. uh, you know, just for 15 minutes, yeah. it's yeah. not going to be, yeah. So, yeah. I, I, yeah. Yeah, it's just that, uh, I guess, living in San, I live in San Francisco. She's yeah, thinking over there, and so <laughs> driving to Davis. I drove and gave out laser at Davis one time, but it's it's uh, you know it's a distance. Yeah, it's a distance. so it's, so it's like it's isolated community a bit. Mm -hmm, Davis, mm -hmm. I guess. Uh, so I was just wondering how you you know your community there. It's students and grad students, students and faculty. some faculty. <clears throat> where one of our goals is to try to engage the uh, campus, mm -hmm. um, so that uh, researchers are not always in their own silos. So we bring them out have a conversation and when they do that it's really quite extraordinary the type of the type of uh, um, collisions and serendipitous discoveries that they're able to make uh, along with the questions that's from the community but one of the questions I think we have is how do we how do we uh, want I mean we, we film it we have a very good videographer but that doesn't seem like um, enough in order to truly capture what happens in Evening. I would love to hear what everybody has to say about how to truly capture the content from the evening. Um, two, I think, um, you know, along the same line, would love to hear from all of you guys about ideas about longer, broader impact um, for laser. I, I think also that has to do with how content is captured and how does it um, have long-term um, impact. 
a great questions if that's something we I think we'll be touching on. Um, by the way, if you guys have a lot of these questions as you're thinking through, there are sticky pads and you can write them down so we can collect these and capture this information. And some things we'll talk about here, but if, in case we don't, please write things down and you know so we can have them. I also wanted to say that um, the change in location is actually, um, you know, really interesting. So we we changed a couple of locations on campus, and then have a maybe have a third one coming up next year. But I think going off campus, that's also a really interesting, intriguing idea as well. So maybe something that we ought to explore. So that's, that's <laughs> great to hear. Thank you. I yeah. do think it's important what you're doing as a beginning strategy to shift to culture of the campus. That's what we started before lasers. We just did mixers where people would come. It was much less formal, just drinks and food with no agenda. So people would just come. Because once you start establishing that, then the network will expand and people will make the drive. So you have to, I think it's good that you're going to work.